Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Muna Shabal and I'm a manifestation and soul realignment coach. My channel is geared towards helping you become your highest potential so that you can live and experience the extraordinary life that is your birthright. In today's video, I want to talk about how intuition and gut feeling are first level manifestations but before we get started i want you to know that i do offer both email and video coaching as well as identity shifting if this is something that interests you please do check out the information in the description below and we just completed this week a magnificent four-week program called magnetically you which i co-hosted with my amazing friend nadine Rosson, who is a relationship coach the program was just fantastic. We received great feedback from our attendees and it is now available as a self-study course. So you can check it out as well in the link below. This is for anyone who wants to magnetize in love, whether from a specific person or a relationship in general. And of course, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification so that you receive a notification anytime I upload a new video. So let's get started. So this was a question that I was asked by one of my clients and it relates to intuition or gut feeling. So when you have a feeling that something is happening, whether it's positive or negative, it's just this gut feeling you have within you that something is going on. So if you want to take it in a positive way, maybe a mother has this feeling, her intuition is telling her that her daughter is seeing someone and it's getting serious. It's just her intuition. She just feels that. Or on the negative side, maybe someone in a relationship suspects that their partner is cheating on them. So here it's again coming from a gut feeling both intuition and gut feeling are really one and the same and i want to separate the concept of intuition from hearing something from your higher mind because sometimes we get ideas or inspiration or really amazing ahas that come in from your higher mind maybe when you're doing meditation or something like that. This is something different and I'm not talking about that. Here I'm purely talking about the sense that you know something even though you don't have the evidence for it. What I want to tell you when it comes to intuition and gut feeling, it is always a first level manifestation. What do I mean by a first level manifestation? A first level manifestation is the same concept as birds before land. You know how when you're approaching land, you start to see birds flying all over. You can consider land as a manifestation. So you're approaching land. When you start seeing birds, you know that you're on the verge of manifesting something. Your intuition as well as your dreams are all first level manifestations, they're birds before land. So if it is something that is positive for you, you're doing great. If you're manifesting a big shift in your career or you're manifesting a relationship or you're manifesting anything that you desire and you start to have a very strong feeling within you that it's going to happen any minute now, or you start to dream about it, that is 100% a first level manifestation. It's a first level because you're experiencing it through your intuition or in your dream state. So they're both first level manifestations. They're birds before land, which means you want to continue doing what you're doing. Now, on the flip side, if you have that gut feeling or your intuition is telling you something bad, then this is your opportunity to shift it because it still did not harden into fact. It still did not manifest. So even if you dream, not just in your intuition, if you dream something you don't like, that is a sign for you that there's something going on in your subconscious mind or your focus and attention has been directed towards something unwanted. Maybe your mental diet has been going into the negative. You're thinking about what you don't want rather than what you do want. So you always need to use this as feedback and you still 100% have the opportunity to shift it. 
and don't be afraid. You know that in every moment you have the opportunity to shift. And actually not long ago, I experienced a dream that was something that I did not like. And I knew that my focus was not exactly where it needed to be. I knew that I was thinking about the unwanted rather than the wanted. And I decided, okay, I'm going to persist with my way, my lack of focus on this matter. It's going to manifest into physical form. And I did not want that. So I really did work on shifting my focus and attention. I literally got off the topic. I stopped thinking about it altogether because I was finding it hard to think about it in a positive way. Sometimes that happens. Sometimes we are not able, our emotions are very triggered around this topic. And sometimes the only way you can work through it is to get your mind off of it, set the intention and then get your mind off of it like stop thinking about it altogether because not thinking about it is much better than thinking about it in a negative way. If that makes sense. When you're not thinking about it, you're allowing your desire, which is your intention around the topic to manifest. So you're no longer neutralizing your manifestation with undesired thoughts. When you know this, when you know this, you know that it is your signal and opportunity to shift things. It's your signal and opportunity to shift it. Because so long as it's not physically there in front of you, it's still not manifested. Now, I will be talking about revision in another video. Even if something manifests, you still have the opportunity to revise. But that's for another video. Here, it still has not hardened into fact. And so you still have the opportunity to go back and work on your inner assumptions and shift your mental focus in order that whatever it is you feel is happening or might happen does not happen. So here, let's take the example of, let's say you suspect that your partner is cheating on you. The last thing you want to do is prove yourself right. And sometimes that's what people do they have this gut feeling that something's going on and they want to prove themselves right. And guess what? Through manifesting, you're going to prove yourself right because you believe that this is happening. That is your assumption. And guess what? It's going to manifest. So instead of fueling that gut feeling by proving to yourself that it's right, you have the opportunity to shift it and say, no, that's not my story. That's not my story. And you want to go inwards and ask yourself, what assumptions do I have about myself, about my partner, or about circumstances in general that is causing me to have this gut feeling that my partner is cheating on me? And here, this is just an example. You can apply this to any other scenario, but this is something that you will really get. Assumptions about yourself, maybe you feel you're not giving enough attention to your partner or you're not feeling good about yourself for whatever reason. So you might, that might be coming from your self-concept or you might have an assumption about them that they are the sort of person who could possibly cheat on you or you could have an assumption about them that they are unhappy in the marriage, which goes back to your self-concept by the way. Or you could have an assumption about circumstances in general. You believe that in relationships, infidelity is very common. Or you've seen your friends go through this and you're now worried it's going to happen to you. So you see how you might have assumptions going on that are triggering or causing this to manifest in your experience. When you do this, then you can go back and do some affirmations, do some self-concept affirmations, as well as affirmations relating to your partner in order to basically turn around the situation. And then you completely have the opportunity, consider it as an opportunity to turn around the situation so that you manifest a more desired reality for yourself. So this is essentially how your gut feeling or your intuition or even your dreams are showing you what might be manifesting next. And the goal is never 
when it's undesired to prove yourself right. And if it's around something positive, then you keep up the great work. You keep that mental focus geared towards that desire and you will manifest what you want. If you like this video, then please do hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and share. This will really help my channel grow. And if you have any comments or questions, then please do put them in the comments below. I will be going through them and responding. And thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.